Okay, so here, again, I don't expect you all to have uh, this part done. Uh, I did not assign this in the homework for those who have done the homework, but these are things that I want you to work through after tonight. So we talked about how other people describe you, and I asked you to be very honest about that, but the first question is, how should other people describe you? Maybe it's different than how they actually describe you today, but how would you like for people to describe you? And then we have to ask ourselves, those things that we want to be known for, uh, are those things that create a competitive advantage for us? There are so many people working in the field people who do very similar things to us, what are the things that are unique to us or make us different than the next person? So we always want to come back to those goals that we identified in the very first question. We want to make sure that everything that we're working towards is helping us achieve those goals that we have set for ourselves. Okay, so let's go to the next slide and the, the big one. Okay. So here we're talking about content and the importance of content. Um, I just want to ask if, uh, if people can give a couple of examples of what they think of when they think of content. A portfolio? Yes, that's a type of content and that particular type of content would show the work that you have done in the past. Can someone give another example? Interesting information, okay. And, and how would you capture that into content? It depends on how I want to show it, through videos or Pinterest. Okay, so Pinterest uh, is, a, uh, is a great tool. A lot of people use Pinterest. How many people, are, I'm just curious because here in Panama, I don't think that Pinterest is used as much as some other places, but by showing of hands, how many people have heard of Pinterest? Okay, oh, okay, um, that's good. So uh, in the United States, Pinterest is known as a platform uh, for reaching women uh, between a certain age group. Many companies are using Pinterest to reach that particular audience for their brands which relate to that audience. So let's go to the next, uh, the next slide. Okay, so quality content in the form of written, photographed, or video recorded interviews, articles, presentations, commentary, and more provide the means to be able to communicate the brand attributes that we want to convey. The best content is original and authentic to our personal brand. But sharing quality content from others can also help us establish the desired brand image. So it's great when we take the time to write something original or create a video or a Pinterest post about something that relates to us and who our brand and who our brand is, but we don't always have the time to do that. And sometimes we can share content from others which will still help us establish our brand. In today's multimedia world, uh, video content is perhaps the most effective. And we're going to look at a couple of video examples in a moment. But I don't want you to think that video is the only type of content that you can do. There's a lot of different type of content. Many people are not comfortable uh, appearing in video or even appearing in photos and that's okay. So we're going to take a look at a couple of videos and I hope these videos play given our internet connection tonight. Hey everybody, Chef Chuck here. Today we're gonna to go over how to make an omelet. So grab a couple eggs and let's get cracking. All right, let's get started here. Here's what you need to make an omelet. Rubber spatula, non-stick Teflon pan. This is eight inches. Cooking spray, non-stick. You can use Pam if you want. 
a fork, a bowl, a couple of eggs. Just crack your eggs in the bowl. And we're just going to beat them a little. Okay, as you can see, we have our pan over medium heat, our nonstick pan. I'm going to spray a little nonstick spray in there. Place the eggs in. A little bit of salt and pepper on top of that. Remember, you have to season all your food. And we're just going to let it cook for a minute. Then we're going to tilt it away and just begin letting the eggs get underneath the omelet so they can cook. Go around the edge a little. All right, now we're going to plate the omelet. All you have to do is grab the pan, pull your plate over. If you want a little bit of cheese, just throw it in there and then flap it over. All right, that cheese is going to melt in around 30 seconds and you're going to have a delicious omelet. I want to thank everybody for watching today. Don't forget if there's a demonstration that you'd like to see, just hit me up at chadscooks at verizon.net. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again real soon. Okay, um, so what did you guys think about that video? What is your impression? Low budget, okay. Okay. Homemade, any other thoughts or opinions? It's a very easy topic. Everybody knows how to make an omelet. Okay, so super simple, right? As you pointed out, they did not spend a lot of money to make this video, and that's okay. Good content does not necessarily have to cost a lot of money. It looks like they took their camera, they put it over, maybe found a shelf or something over the counter to put the camera on top of, and they began to demonstrate something simple as how to make an omelet. What do you think are the brand attributes that the person who's making this video wants you to think about them? Okay. Okay, any other ideas about the brand message that they are trying to communicate through this video? No? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's a very good point, right? Is we talked about who is the right audience for what it is that we're creating, right? And for many of us, especially those who know how to cook, we would say, okay, it's very simple, it's, you know, there's no value for me. But for someone who doesn't know how to cook, maybe there is value. And one of the things that I think, again, very simple that they want to communicate is that they have knowledge about cooking, right? And maybe this is a channel that you would go to to find out how to make a hamburger or other things that we don't know. So at the very least, they want to communicate that they have some expertise, some knowledge about cooking. But I think like um, the beauty of like social media and using these platforms is like you can find a lot of content yes. for whatever you need. Yes. So it doesn't really matter like if you know how to how to cook very well mm -hmm. or you don't know how to cook because I don't know how to cook. Mm -hmm. But that's a beauty. I can find it on the internet. Right. Like just a minute away or like two seconds away. Well, you touched upon social media, which we haven't even talked about, but you're absolutely right. We all have the ability today and the power today to communicate our brand through social media, which is accessible to all of us. So maybe you didn't know anything about this organization. Maybe you were trying to figure out how to make an omelet and you found this video. Now you have an understanding of this brand. Or if it was a person, you would know who that person is. And they have created a brand impression in you that this is a place that you can go to for what you're looking for, right? Okay. Um, and then the last question here is if this organization were to promote a cookbook, uh, would you buy it? No. <laughs>
Okay, most people say no, but again, maybe others, maybe someone who's very, just beginning to uh, learn how to cook, maybe they would. So now, what are we seeing? We're seeing an opportunity to now make money and to sell a product based on their particular brand. So once you have come to understand that this brand is a source of cooking content, now they can begin to make money from that brand. Let's go to the next video. I'd just quite like to ask how you are because I feel like you guys are always asking me how I am and I would actually quite like to know how you are so tell me one exciting thing you've done this week and on a scale of 1 to 10 how good is your mood because I just want to know I wanted to do something a little bit different this week so you guys absolutely love when I do my kind of makeup tutorials I really hate calling them that because let's face it I'm not the best but I'll give it my best shot and they do always say that taking part is part that matters. What do they say? That's not what they say. It's the taking part that matters, right? So although I am not a makeup genius, I do love doing these for you and you guys really like watching them so I of course want to make more and um, I also really like to ramble as you guys know so I thought I would do something a little bit different, kind of like a show and tell if you will. So I have done this makeup look and I just wanted to kind of run you through the products uh, as I show you how I did it instead of me kind of rambling as I'm trying to do it which let's be honest sometimes is a little bit of a mess so the makeup look I'm gonna be chatting you through today is this one which I'm just gonna call pinky pinky <laughs> pinks there's a lot of pink I have been loving baby pink at the moment and I've worn this makeup look a few times so let's get started the first thing that I used on my face was a new foundation that I have recently discovered because it was sent to my PO box and it is Tarte and it's the Rainforest of the Sea water foundation. This stuff is so good. I really really like it. I would say it has a medium to buildable coverage and it has this really cool kind of dropper and I just think the packaging is amazing. It's this gorgeous frosted glass bottle. Tarte is a brand that I really really recommend. But I was super excited to receive this um, along with the other things in the Rainforest of the Sea collection. And so far I'm really loving this foundation. I feel like it goes on really nicely, it blends really well and it just lasts really well throughout the day. I'm not normally one to rave about a water-based foundation. I, they don't necessarily work for me. Um, but this one I'm getting on with really well and I think I've worn this every day for like the past 10 days. Generally, he described that this is a young woman who is providing tips, right? Um, and I think she's a teenager, um, and she's providing these tips in a very teenager kind of way, right? She's kind of bouncy and happy and um, doing it in such a way where me, as an adult male, I would not necessarily have an interest in what it is that she uh, is presenting here. But what I found out is that my 11 year old daughter knows exactly who this person is and has watched her other videos and so this person is effectively reaching her brand audience right the group that she wants to she's reaching young girls uh, with these tips and she is well known within her particular niche it's not me it's not something that I would know but for what this person is doing and the type of brand that she is trying to create she's doing that very well this particular person is also making money from doing this and doing it very well. Um, in the English version that I have of this, I had people in the audience who said, oh no, this girl was like super annoying, I would never like, you know, buy anything from her. Well, there, we know that there are YouTube stars and there are people who get paid very well and what happens is, is that this particular girl who's doing this one, and I, I know I'm talking a lot without the translation. Um, this particular girl who's doing this one is getting paid from companies to feature their products within her video. So she's showing the products that she's demonstrating. <laughs> Some of these YouTube stars are making millions of dollars from doing this. Um, and so even, it doesn't matter if I like it or if I don't like it, if it's reaching the right audience and you're doing it the right way, you can make very good money from it. One of the things that you will notice in this video is that the production quality is higher. 
because she's now making money and she's getting paid, I'm sure she didn't start this way, but she now has money to get best cameras and lighting and all of those things. And so you, can, you will be able to see that the quality is much higher. So here is where we want to get into some of the specifics and details about social media and certain tools that you can use. Um, but I want to stop for a second to see how you guys are feeling. Do you want to take a break? Do you want to keep going? Like, how do you feel? A little break? Okay. So we'll take a five minute break and then we'll continue. Okay.